This is the disaster that's in the shape of a Datsun. Now the next video we're doing on this fabrication wise is that driver's side floor pan. We've done all the rest. It's almost where it needs to be. There is a little bit we need to do on, tra on the transmission tunnel before we can start welding things together because at the moment they're just tacked. But while we're getting onto the fabrication videos, I do have to learn how to scan, model and print, 3D print things like this dashboard because we want to do something special with it and the rear diffuser as well as many other parts. So today what I'm going to do, it's all a learning curve for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt, hopefully it's nice and easy, to 3D scan that dashboard and then we're hopefully going to be able to export that 3D modelled file into something like Fusion 360 that apparently is free. And then once we've done something a little bit different with it or modeled it how we want to, then export it into STI files, I think, I don't know, so that we can use them in things like the 3D printers or the SwiftCut plasma table. Now this clever little device is the RevoPoint Trackit, the latest technology from RevoPoint in 3D scanners. Now, most of the time you have to put these little markers on whatever you're scanning, cover it in them so that you can scan it. Now with this, the RevoPoint Trackit, you don't have to do that because you've got a tracker that keeps in contact with this and sees the location of this as opposed to what you're actually scanning. So you can do anything without markers. Now, once it's all connected, you've just got to have the scanner connected to the tracker, which is plugged into the electricity and to your computer. Once you've done that and you've loaded the software up, when you click on a new project, you've got three options. You've got track scan. Now track scan is where the scanner will keep track of, sorry, the tracker will keep track of the scanner so you don't need to put markers on. You do have another option with that kind of system. You've got the multi-position. Now if you've got something huge like a car and you want to scan all the way around it, when you get to the other side, it won't be able to see the scanner. So with that part of the software, you can actually move the camera around the car as you're scanning. You do have to put a few markers on there, but not many at all. And your last way is you've got your marker scan and that's if all else fails and you do need to quickly scan something that's a little bit too hard for the tracker to actually see. You can actually put a lot, lot of markers on there and skin, scan it the traditional way. Now what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the track scan so we're gonna, we're gonna do the dashboard of the Datsun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tracker so that we can see all the dashboard and then we're just gonna go in and from every direction, we're just gonna scan that dashboard and see if we can get a complete dashboard there for us to see. Again, the clever thing about this is you don't have to click start on the computer you've actually got your start in here. So you can actually start the scan. And if your arm aches or you're trying to get into a different position, you can just pause the scan, 
get into that position and start the scan again. Right, now you do have to have a clean line of sight to your computer. I can see it directly over there. That lets you know what you're scanning and what bits you've actually done or where you need to concentrate, like in these binnacles a little bit, around there. Again, the more you hover on it, what you've got to do is basically, when you first scan it, it'll turn green, uh, and then eventually it won't. It'll turn orange and red, and eventually it'll turn green. And when it turns green, it means it's got enough data points. Now, the more you scan it, the more data points and more detail you're gonna have. So like in these vent switches here, if you keep scanning, keep moving around, rotating, it'll give it more data points and you'll get more detail in there. And again, if you're not sure, you can just press the pause button, head over to your computer and have a look at where you need to scan a little bit more, which is here. I managed to get some floor in there, look, which is round here. So we need to do more on the binnacle and more around here. So once you think you've got your scan, you click on complete. And once it's processed a little bit, it'll come up with a mesh. And there you have it, we've got a mesh. Now that is just a simple mesh. Now there's a lot of options you can do to clean that up, but we've also got a one click here. So if we click that, right. as you can see, if we zoom in, it's taken out all that noise and left us with an absolutely fantastic Mesh. Now, if we'd have spent a bit more time, we could have got this even better. But for what we're doing, this is absolutely fantastic. Now you can trim off all these edges, all these here. You can take all them off, get them all trimmed off. Look at that, you can even see that's in there. That is brilliant. And one of the reasons why we're doing the dashboard itself is because of all this damage that we've got here. And because it's a custom car as well, we're gonna do something just a little bit different with it. But that is superb. Right now with the hole detect, what it'll do is it'll let you select all the holes to fill in. So as we can see, it's detected all the holes. It always take, detects around the edge as well. That's where you haven't filled everything in. But if we detect these, it's turning them from green 
to red. And then we click apply. What that'll do is that should fill in all those holes. And as you can see, the holes are still in these, but this one, apart from two I miss, this one looks absolutely fantastic. Now the other thing you can do is just use the polygon selection tool and once you're in fill holes and you can just draw around all those holes that you want filling. Once you've done that, join that up and as you can see they all turn red. And then we're going to continue doing that for the rest of the mesh. Right, so once we've scanned it all and we're happy with that, and we finish it off and clean it all up in the Revo Point Metro um, application, we then have to save that because if we want to make any modifications to that dashboard or to the rear diffuser when we get around to doing that, we've got to use uh, a program um, that lets us model things. So in our case, we're going to use Fusion 360. Right, so once you've got your scan, um, you then, you save that, and then you import it in Fusion 360. What you can then do is you can model it. So if you need some extra holes in there, you need an extra vent on there, you can model it there. And then from here, you turn it into a prop, you turn from your mesh into a solid. And then from here, you export it as an STI or uh, um, another one, I can't think what it was. And then that goes into your 3D printing software so that you can print it off. Now, if it was a model this big, we'd divide it up if there's a bit of the dashboard we had to repair, or if we want to make a new dashboard, we'd do it in sections, bond them together, and then cover that in material. So we're gonna see if we can then import that into the 3D printing software, see if we can print one off. Right, so we've loaded the model into Creality Print. Um, we've added some supports, that's to support bits that are just floating in midair and things like that. Uh, we're going to send it to the printer, uh, the Creality K2 Plus, uh, and see what happens. Right, so moment of truth. Did we print a miniature Datsun dashboard? Right. To say I don't know what I'm doing, that isn't bad at all. Right, so from me not knowing what I'm doing with 3D scanning or modeling or print 3D printing, I've still in one day managed to print off a scale model of the dashboard. Now, with a little bit more practice, it'll be absolutely perfect. And with a little bit more practice of scaling, it'll be the right size. So it does show you that the Revo Point Track It 3D Scanner is definitely going to be a fantastic tool for us. So check the link in our description below to Revo Point's website and grab yourself a cracking 3D scanner.